Hello everyone. Now I am taking another topic that is about occurrence of metals. We will see this topic in the question answer format. Here we will also talk about the different sources in which form these metals are present. Aluminum is the third most evident element and iron is the second most evident metal in the earth crust. Among metals, aluminum is considered to be most evident. Aluminum is a major component of many igneous minerals including clay and mica. Many gemstones are impure forms of aluminum oxide that is Al2O3. For example, ruby is having chromium as impurity and sapphire is having cobalt as impurity. Let's see the question. Here the question is give various ores of iron. Which ores are used for the purpose of extraction of iron? Why iron pyrite is not used for extraction of iron? Let's see here. There are various ores of iron out of which one of them is hematite ore that is Fe2O3 and magnetite ore that is Fe3O4 siderite that is FeCO3 iron pyrite that is FeS2 limonite that is Fe2O3.3H2 we will see that why the iron generally having the oxide ores which are most evident and do not produce polluting gases that's why the oxide ores are mainly used for the extraction of iron let's see why iron pyrite is not used for extraction of iron so here the polluting gas that is sulfur dioxide gas is produced from iron pyrite during extraction of iron hence FES2 is not used. Let's see next question. Give example of some of the principal ores of zinc. So definitely zinc is having different ores. One of them is zinc blend that is ZNS, calamine that is zinc carbonate ZNCO3, zincite zinc oxide that is ZNO and franklinite that is ZNO.Fe2O3. So these are the different ores of zinc. Our next question is what is caloninite give its composition. Caloninite is a form of clay and one of the principal ore of aluminium. Its composition is Al2OH whole base 4 Si2O5. Next question is why is iron is considered as a very important element because aluminium not aluminium it is iron is one of the most essential element in biological system and it forms variety of compounds which are required by us in various applications that is the reason that iron is considered to be as a very important element next question give example of some of the principal ores of following metals the first one is calcium. Calcium is having ore called limon, lime note. Calcium is having ore as limestone, CaCO3, gypsum, CSO4, 2H2O. Magnesium is having ore as magnesite, MgCO3. Dolomite, that is CaCO3 dot MgCO3. Silver is having an ore called silver glands, AG2S. Horn silver that is AgCl and ruby silver as Ag2S dot Sb2S3. The lead lead is having some ores like Kalina that is PPS and PbCO3. Mercury is having ore called cinnabar that is HgS. Manganese is having the ore called MnO2 manganese dioxide and Mn2O3. 
Let's see the next question. Why copper, silver, gold, platinum occur in native state in nature? We can just see here these metals lie below hydrogen in electrochemical series. So these metals are not attacked by oxygen, moisture and carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere. That is the reason these metals mainly occur in their native, uh, native states in nature. Our next question is why do metal halides occur mostly in lakes and seas and metal sulfides occur mainly in rocks. So we will see that metal sulfides are soluble in water so they get dissolved in rainwater and carry to lakes and seas. Uh, what about metal sulfides are insoluble in water so they occur mostly in rocks. So this is what about the occurrence of metals and what are the different sources could be possibly there how these metals are present in different forms in the form of different ores thank you